I've seen this somewhere before. I got it. Cast off! Cast off! Ah, much better. I wonder... Put on! Ah, I guess it only works once. Where did the pieces go? What's up YouTube, Bow Ball here with a brand new rear view. This time the Marvel Comics Iron Man, Hulkbuster Iron Man with Power Removable Armor. And this is going to be a new sub-series of reviews. It's not going to be labeled something different, but this is going to be the first of what I like to call Flashback, where um, once every Friday or so, I plan to take an older figure that I have that was very popular at the time, or I just didn't get the chance to review it when it was out, and just talk about it, and I'll admit, it's mostly going to be some older Marvel Universe figures and Iron Man 2, but... You know, I thought it'd be fun to start doing this, and you guys can even vote what figure you guys want to be seen on fl on flash fl on flashback. So uh, definitely, let me know what you think the next figure should be. So with that said, I figured we should take a look at the first Hulkbuster in plastic form from the Iron Man cartoon, and this is my favorite version of the Hulkbuster. Yeah, I love the Iron Man 2 version, but this one, in my opinion, is the definitive one because it's just awesome. So, uh. Quick look at the packaging. The packaging is just really nice. Um, here you have a picture of the Arctic armor. I wish it was the Hulkbuster armor, but I guess that was like the popular armor of the wave. But you have the name. As seen on the Marvel Action Hour. That actually sounds pretty cool. I wonder what that was. Um, if you know, let me know. So, schematic of the armor. And each one of these do have a name. And I will tell you about the names when we get to the pieces. Then we have on the bottom, advertising for the Iron Man figures. And then we have on the bottom, we have uh, Fantastic Four, which is pretty cool. They crossed advertised. And we got bio. <clears throat> Hulkbuster Iron Man. What Iron Man's regular armor isn't powerful enough to get the job done. Tony Stark develops new special suits of armor, each tailor-made to his needs specific mission. The heavy combat armor contains few built-in weapons, but it boosts Iron Man's physical strength to near impossible levels. Pretty awesome bio. Uh, I do find it weird that they call it the heavy combat armor when the box says, and it says it right here, the Hulkbuster armor, but whatever. So, uh, yeah, I kind of wish this would code in, but oh well. Uh, very cool. I paid... Oh, the price tag isn't on here. Oh, it was there. I paid like 10 bucks for this thing, and I am so glad I did. Uh, this was kind of a Christmas gift to myself. Uh, after I bought my family Christmas gifts, I bought me this because it was awesome and stuff and then my dad gave me 10 bucks for it and it was his christmas gift to me and it was awesome so yeah really glad i just picked this up i mean th this is just a great figure and i've had this till i've had this since christmas last year uh, if you see my christmas vlog you know i've had this since then so um i'll just put the packaging to the side and then talk about the figure because the figure is just great and in my opinion this figure still holds up today i mean if you compare this to an iron man 3 figure this is a lot better I mean, Iron Man 3 has great designs, but this figure is just still better. And I have seen the prototype pictures for the new uh, Wolverine toy line for the new Wolverine movie. Well, Hasbro, do you, do you just want to punch us in the face and, you know, kick us in the balls? Those are... Th those, those figures are just crap. Whatever. So, the figure itself is just great. Uh, detailing is very simple, but it's a figure that detailing wasn't really that big, paint wasn't really that big, it was more to it for a cute little gimmick that kids would love. And that's what I think this figure accomplishes. It has a very nice gimmick that kids will love. And back then, you see, a lot of people tend to forget that toys nowadays are specifically made for collectors and children. Children more, but collectors in mind. When back then, toys were just made for kids. Yeah, that's pretty hard to believe, a, to a kid playing with a toy, but uh, here is the Hulkbuster, and it just looks nice. The head sculpt is very nice. The chest is flat, but some nice lines. He has a multiple 12 pack, I guess that is. Wow. Uh, he has some pads that are painted and molded on the legs. Boots have some uh, line molding, but no paint. Arms, pretty simple. And then the back of the figure... Nothing too spectacular. No pictures this time, but um, it's a simple toy. So uh, let's talk about the pieces of armor. Now he does come with some, 
and um, here they are. So here are the boots, and the boots are labeled D on the packaging, and they are strength, uh, <clears throat> strengthen boots. S T A N C H I O N. Stanchions. What? <laughs> I should have read this before, but whatever. So, uh, they do lean a specific way. The boots lean this way, and that means they go on this foot. So, just put them. You can see that they lean. So, they go right here. It just adds some nice detailing to the figure, and I either wish that these were painted the same color as this plastic, or the plastic was painted the same color as this metallic uh, metal. Um, now, here we have the forearms, and the forearms are labeled as C. And C is impact gauntlets. Now each one has kind of a specific side. One says left, one says right. So you put the left one on the left side. And then we shall put the right one on the right side. And then these uh, shoulder pads are labeled as B. And these are hyper power en enhancers. So we put them on here. These are a little loose, but uh, it's okay. So there you go, and then the helmet is labeled as the Exo Shield Support Helmet. Plug that on, and there you go. And I really do think this makes the figure look a lot better. I kind of wish the chest had some something to attach to, it, uh, to attach to it, but it doesn't. And it looks a lot nice. I mean, it definitely adds some more bulk. And I love the helmet. I mean, this is my favorite version of the Hulkbuster for a reason, and it looks really nice. So you can see with the armor, it it's really cool. It doesn't gain any height, but definitely gains some nice bulk. And I. It, it doesn't hinder on any articulation at all, which is pretty nice. So, uh, there you go. The armors have some paint. Now, uh, these pieces have... You see, this one's kind of loose on mine for some reason. But, uh, you got some paint. 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 I like the knee pads on this one. Uh, you have paint and paint. The I wish the head had a, uh, yellow stripe on it, but... Eh, can't have everything. So, uh, yeah, here it is all armored up. And uh, here he is next to the Hulkbuster from Iron Man 2. Definitely a lot bigger, in my opinion. It definitely looks a lot cooler. So here it is next to the Hulk. Towers over the Hulk a little, which is pretty nice. I think this really is cool. Um, here is an Iron Man 2 figure. This one's kind of my go-to Iron Man figure, in my opinion. Because, you know, it's not movie design, but it's cool, really nice comic. I do like the design of it, but it doesn't have a bicep. So there you go. Pretty cool. And then here he is next to my slightly custom Stark Tex um, Omega Buster Iron Man. I call it Omega because I just doubled up the weapons. I made you a video on why I recommend buying a second one, but there you go. Very cool. Actually, I grabbed the one figure. What am I doing? So you can see next to modern figures, it definitely holds up. It makes for a really nice Hulk Buster figure if you can't get an Iron Man 2, but this Iron Man 2 figure should be more easy to get to this one. But, um, you know, if you want sheer size, this is definitely the one to go with. But if you want articulation, this one's to go with. And any Marvel Universe Hulk figure would definitely work well with this figure. And, you know, just get kind of get the trio right there. So, there you go. And there you go. There's, there's that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And please, let me know what you guys think I should review for my next flashback. Uh, it'll probably be in a couple weeks. Um, I'll post on Twitter when I post when I'll be doing it. So just let me know on Twitter or leave a comment here what I should review. Also leave a comment of what you guys think of the figure. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Stuff like that. And I'll see you guys later with some more views. Till then, audio.